Hi, thanks for joining me on this meditation. My name is Maveen Kora. Today we'll be doing a guided meditation by Shaman Durek. Please remember to enjoy the video, enjoy the meditation, close your eyes, find that relaxation within yourself, reconnect and rebalance with yourself and your life, and enjoy this meditation. And at the end, remember to please remember to follow Shaman Durek on Ancient Wisdoms. You can check out his podcast as well as you can check out his YouTube channel. Remember to like the video, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Definitely check out different meditations that I have done. A lot of them with Shaman Durek, a lot of them by myself and on my own meditation guides. So please be guided through Shaman Durek on this one and look to myself to be guided on other meditations. Thank you so much and enjoy. Have a great day. So I would like for you to find a place where you can relax, <laughs> a chair perhaps, put your feet on the ground, or you can lay down, wherever you can be so that you can relax and, and get into a comfortable place with yourself, a place where you can breathe, inhale, and exhale. And breathe, inhale, and exhale again. And gently and slowly close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to see the light inside of your being. Notice it. <clears throat> Notice its brightness, its expansiveness. Notice the light inside of your being. Right now. And what types of words does this light need from you to expand and become even greater and more powerful? What type of energy does it need from you? What kind of attention does this light need to be even more expansive and more powerful? And as you are breathing and inhaling and exhaling notice what the light is telling you inside of you what it needs from you what type of words what type of nurturing does it need in order to grow and expand and as you are doing so allow yourself to just be present and observe just observe what this light is communicating to you does it need to have more words of how powerful you are and how gifted you are and how beautiful you are? And does it need more of those words that you are a genius and that you can move through any obstacle? And the more you tell yourself these things, the more you're expanding that light. So right now, just breathe, inhale and exhale and tune in to the energy that is communicating from inside of you, this beautiful light that is 20,000 suns bright, communicating to you what it needs from you in order to expand. Does it need more playful time? Does it need more connectedness with other people who are loving and nurturing? Does it need more nature? Does it need more uh, writing or dancing? Or beautiful words or pampering massages and spa days what does it need to expand what is it requiring good and as you are experiencing that energy and as you're tapping into that energy you begin to go into a space as your body begins to float into a space a ring that is floating above your body this beautiful ring that is floating above your body has three different colors on the ring. One color is yellow, the other color is pink, and the other color is blue. And as your spirit is seeing this ring, the closer your spirit gets to it, the color of yellow, blue, and pink one of those colors are now beginning to take hold of the whole ring and begins to glow in that color. Notice what that color is as you pass through this ring. 
And as you pass through it, notice how it makes you feel as you're floating up even higher and higher and higher up beyond the Maya, going up even higher, all the way up, a hundred feet into the air. And as you are up higher in that space, notice what emotions are showing up for you. How do you feel? Notice how you feel. Good. And as you are up a hundred feet into the air, notice what thoughts are coming to you. And just be aware of them. And breathe. Inhale and exhale. Good. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. And notice how you feel that you're 100 feet in the air above your body. Up above the Maya. Above the earth. 100 feet into the air. Floating way above the earth. And notice how it feels now. And notice the emotion and notice the energy. Good. And as you are up 100 feet into the air, you get taken into a field of consciousness that takes you to a beautiful place in nature. And notice where it took you in nature. Where are you at? And the place that you are and where it's taking you is the energy that you're asking for more in your life. So notice where you're at. Look around. Notice what details come to your mind as you're looking around. And notice what the ground feels like. What's in front of you. What is the main aspect of nature that is around you right now? And breathe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And notice that the place that you've been transferred into nature, the place that you are residing in nature right now, is increasing its power all around you. So that you are very aware of what aspect of nature this is. And as you are aware of this aspect of nature, you begin to experience energy currents, vibrational patterns, electricity, and mobilization in your body that your body wants to expand and move. And how will you expand and move that in your spiritual form? How will you expand and move your body in your spiritual form while your physical body is in a meditative state? How will you move your body and feel the energy moving through you in the spirit realm and being transferred into the embodiment of energy on the earth plane. And these beings, these energies that have been possessed by this spirit is opening up more doorways into your perception right now that is allowing you to understand the depth and quality and the nature of your being. And as that energy is now expanding, you begin to breathe, inhale and exhale. And as you continue to breathe, you notice that you're being taken down a slide all the way down into the earth and ending up in a sacred temple. Wherever you were in nature, this slide just took you deeper into a temple and notice what this temple looks like. Notice as many details that you can see about this temple and how it makes you feel. Tune in to how it makes you feel to be inside this temple. Notice the energies of the temple and what's going on and notice if there are other people or other beings and other spirits that are there. Take notice now and breathe, inhale and exhale, and access the energies inside of that temple. And notice how it makes you feel in your physical body while it's in a meditative state, while your spirit body is journeying into the spirit world. What has caught your attention the most while you're in that temple? And just observe it. What has caught your attention the most? And observe it, and as you're observing it, you understand that the thing that you are looking at and observing, 
the thing that you are observing in the temple that you are looking at right now is a symbolism a symbolism of energy that you have to invite into your life and now you understand by looking at it the symbolism is now telling you what it is and just notice what you saw and what you're looking at and the symbolism is now becoming more and more clear as to what it is and what the message is so just breathe inhale and exhale yes inhale and exhale mm. inhale and exhale and feel what that energy of that symbol that you saw that archetype that you were staring at means in your life the place that the part of you that needs to take in that symbol because there's a greater meaning of power that can be in your life because of it so breathe inhale and exhale and in the center of a temple there is this sacred sacred area where there is a table and there is a book on the table I want you to journey over there to that book and I want you to look at whose name is written on that book what energy do you feel with that book and as you acknowledge it and see it open the book and notice the way that you open the book is the way that you deal with information in your life notice if you opened it up softly and gently or did you slam open the book how did you open it with your physical hands and the spirit plane or did you will it open good and just notice how you opened it is the exact same way you interact with yourself when you feel stress anxiety frustration and hurt this is the energy that tells you how you deal with information and as you turn open the book notice what you're looking at when you look at the pages can you read what's on the page go ahead and read it now and if you can't read on it and it's blank it just means you're not ready for the information and if you can read it then read each and every word right now to yourself for this book has many messages about you in your life and just read it good and breathe inhale and exhale breathe and feel how good it feels to be in this temple this temple is created to rejuvenate you and tap you deeper into your gifts and your powers every area in this temple has a meaning that connects directly to your life go now to the different areas of the temple and you will find a shrine each shrine that you find there is a sacred thing on that shrine and when you touch it you understand the message that it has for you and every time you come into this temple those items will be different as according to where you are in your soul journey so go now venture off wherever you want to go in this temple because this temple is huge and powerful and so you can go anywhere in this temple so go ahead now and find one of those energy shrines and notice what's on it and notice that the moment you touch it all the download of information of what that is and what it needs to teach you comes downloading into your system breathe and just allow it to happen breathe and just receive the information and perhaps you want to look through the temple and navigate the temple even more there are many steps and corridors and windows inside that temple look around and explore and if you want to open more energies inside look for a sacred altar
that has fire upon it and go stand in front of it and let the spirits of the flame move into your body and invoke more powerful courage and strength and vigorance and allow this energy now to move through your being with ease and grace. That's it. Now increase it. Good. And as you are in this temple, notice how certain energies are moving inside of your physical body while it is in complete REM, rapid eye movement, and your eyes are opening up gates by moving into REM and your breath is increasing and you are releasing more energies that do not belong inside of your system as you are navigating in the spirit world this temple that you are inside and you keep navigating it going to different areas of different shrines that have different messages on it for you and you're not afraid and you go over and you listen to the message from that shrine and you increase it and as you do so you are opening up a bigger window of enlightened consciousness where you're able to see the many facets and many rainbows and many energies of life of the diversity that is there as you are in the temple you begin to notice that the reason why you're able to see these things is because that in the temple there is a great pool of water that allows you to see through all time and space that energy is so powerful that you can feel the waves moving through your body. Notice what it feels right now inside of your body and keep noticing how it feels inside of your body and then keep noticing how it feels inside of your body and keep noticing how it feels inside of your body and keep noticing how it feels inside of your body and expand it. Good and expand it even more with more energy, more power, that's it, and increase it. And if you begin to feel this chill that goes up the back of the neck, and just increase that chill and allow it to move through your body. That's it. And feel the energy that is moving through that. And as you are in the sacred temple, notice how everything that is connected to you is divinely inspired and connected to create space and cleansing and energies allow your energy to move into this space of knowing that the knowledge and the ancient wisdoms are always inside of you because they are part of this beautiful sacred beautiful temple the shrine of energies and power and as you are inside this temple, you can return at any given time and you know so. So you look for something that you can draw a door. And you begin to take that and draw a door until it is completely drawn. And then it opens. Notice the sensation you felt when it opened. Increase it and go deeper inside of it. Past the doorway. And now you're in this amazing world with these amazing beings that are all there to be there to support you and to lift you and shift you and take you higher. And all that energy and power is with you. As you pass through the threshold of the doorway, all the things that you've been holding on to is now being left aside and transmuted into the light. As you are in this realm, the light and the energy. Good. And breathe and feel how good it feels to be in this sacred space that you've been taken to now that you've passed the threshold of this doorway and have entered into that silent moment. Now look at where you're at. Look at where spirit has taken you. Look around at as many details as you can and accelerate them good and feel the energy moving and coursing through your body and through your veins and through your arteries and through your hypothalamus gland and pineal gland and every part of your system every part of your system needs
needs to accelerate and can choose to accelerate because of the power that you're experiencing right now in the world that you have been transported to through this doorway. And there are sacred energies and teachings in this world and beings in this world that are now slowly approaching you and notice how they look. Notice what they're saying to you. And notice how they look again. And allowing yourself to feel that powerful energy of surge moving through the system. And go ahead and increase it by taking it up each number all the way up to 2,000. Increase it and accelerate the energy. As you are accelerating this energy, this powerful energy from the magma and all of the energy that needs to be released and cleansed so that new life, new forms can come through. These energies that are holding back the evolution and not allowing all of those energies to move in a beautiful symphony. So all the energies that you've been holding on to, all the things that you've been stuck in is now being released and dissipated. And the beings that you are now looking at are staring at you and offering you information and they're speaking into your mind this information of truth that they and only they could bring to you and you receive this information you receive the energy that is coming into your body from being in this sacred place and you can see the power and the illumination that is moving through every aspect of everything within this space and allowing the highest level of truth, the highest level of love, the highest level of creativity, the highest level of everything to operate in the field of love only and for the sake of love because you were made by love. And that love is transcendent as you are now in that space and feeling all of these energies, moving them through your being and passing them through your system and continuing to feel all that energy in that realm that you are right now and look around at all the energies and all the people and all the things that are there showing you the place of reverence, the place of love, the place of harmony and respect. Good. And bring that energy over and continue to accelerate that energy in the body. Accelerate it even more. And as you begin to accelerate it even more, you begin to notice that you're glowing. You're glowing with this pink energy and this powerful golden energy and this powerful blue energy and this powerful energy of the merging and creating this powerful violet fire that moves through your system. Go ahead and receive it into your abdomen. Right and left foot, receive it even more into your abdomen, receive it into your chest, and take in more self-love and more unconditional love, and accelerate it even more. Accelerate it even more and make it even stronger, allowing that energy to unfold in its most natural, most beautiful place, and allowing all of that nature of spirit and beauty and energy and all of that energy that is moving through is increasing the joy in your body, increasing the light, increasing the love, increasing the smile upon your face as you feel your body and feel your spirit. And as you feel your spirit and feel your entire being with love and joy and happiness, that powerful being that you are is allowing you to travel to these other dimensions and meet these other beings because you have that ability to move through things and shape shift more possibility into yourself. And all that energy is now being released and cleansed as you begin to see yourself and know and understand all the things that you've experienced on your journey. This energy, this complete completion of the triangle, that feeling of power that is moving through your system, you begin to feel the vibration and you're transported back into that room, back into that space, back into that beauty of the beautiful sacred temple and that energy that allows you to move from one place to the next place.
So now I want you to teleport yourself and by locate yourself in another dimension and pull that energy all the way out. Now accelerate the energy even more and increase even more amounts of that energy coming out. As you are in the sacred temple and you can see the doorway to the other side, to the place that brings most joy and happiness and freedom and love and all of these energies that are moving in through your system easily and effortlessly. This energy is increasing even stronger. And allowing that pause of that breath. Good. And that silence allows you to sink deeper into this space. Allowing yourself to feel the momentum of energy, of change occurring. And this energy, this power, is for all. And as you are weaving the dreams and the ideas and the visions, you already know what it all means. Good. And feel how powerful it is and how powerful all of you are. As you begin to see the being that led you into that space standing in front of you and giving you a message of love and allowing that deep energy, that beautiful well of energy to sweep over you now so you can feel it and breathe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, breathe. Inhale and exhale, breathe. Good. And as you are now stepping all the way through the sacred temple, you are now being transported all the way into the energy that you're exuding from your spiritual, mental, emotional, and all of the energies that are creating any form of imbalance. I'll increase the power inside and allow the powers to become even stronger. Good. And as you're feeling the powers growing even stronger, breathe, inhale and exhale as it's beginning to bring you back to your body, back into your being. And as you feel that part of your being increasing, you can feel the power inside of your heart. Exemplary power. Magnificent power. That is you, raw power of that light. And notice how much more that light has shined and radiated. How much more of that light is now radiating. Good, and breathe. And remember on your journey when you went through the rain. One was pink, one was blue, one was yellow. The blue and power energy represents power. It means correcting your power, coming from a place of power, honoring your integrity, sticking to your words, speaking your truth, and honoring that courage and strength and confidence you have to deal with any type of situation. The power and the energy of that is that you reside in the eye of the storm and nothing can harm you or affect you. Holding in that blue energy is asking you to develop that energy even more and if it was the pink energy in that ring it is love unconditional it is saying love yourself greater love yourself so much that there's no part of your being that has done anything wrong loving yourself so much you transcend all labels and limitations you start conversations with love and you end with love and you love to love and you get excited empowered and filled with love and all of that energy represents the pink energy. And if you saw the ring turn yellow, it is about you now increasing your education, the things that bring you joy. Perhaps you want to learn more about shamanism or healing, or perhaps you want to learn more about health and wellness. All of these things are available to you for you to grow and expand in. 
and these energies and in the way that you opened up the book when you were in the spirit world is the way that you deal with things in your life when it comes to information that is being given to you by spirit or from the source itself. These are the energies which you project, which can limit and block source in love. Good. This energy is now unfolding the greatest life for you. Everything that you went through in this meditation is now translated into your life. And every part of your life that is not shining and radiating and illuminating is now shining, radiating, illuminating, and putting that beautiful smile on your face. So ever gently that smile begins to creep up even more and more. With each breath, that smile becomes even stronger. And the power of energy that is moving through you is so wonderful and magnificent. This energy, this power. Good. Beautiful. And as you are taking in all of the journey, as you are taking in the whole complete journey, and all the teachings and the lessons and all that which is a part of your experience, good. Allowing yourself to see the beauty and the bounty of your spirit in full and to witness the beauty of that energy that energy that says i don't care i am just here to bring the art the beauty the engineering the innovation the love the passion to the forefront of existence good so breathe inhale and exhale breathe inhale and exhale good and the things that you witnessed and experienced when you went way up into the air, those are the experiences and the energies of lightening your energy field, increasing the mobility and lighting even more of your energy field. Good. Beautiful. I love you so much, Tribe. I'm so honored and I'm so grateful and I tilt my hat for you because you're beautiful and wonderful in every way. I love you. I love you so much. I'm cuddling you right now. And if you're not following me on Ancient Wisdom today for all the other amazing 